So that's one for you with her new one. She calls this one Blow. I mean, it's interesting how she emerged onto the scene as a musician. And even in the face of all the lambasting and all that, she still went forth, did her thing. And here she is today with an award to her name as a musician and also uh, some nominations as well. She joins us in the studio. Hello, hello, hello. hello. I haven't met her before. <laughs> We've never <laughs> spoken before. That's so this will right. be the first time that we're mm -hmm. interacting. And I must say that there's something about you that I think everybody must must learn. Yeah. It's just that relentlessness of, of wanting to achieve. Whether or not people were for you or not, mm -hmm. you didn't care. Yeah. You still went ahead. How were you managing all the negativity though? I mean, I was so focused, you know, okay. and my main focus was on the music, so I wasn't really paying attention. And also I realized that no matter what you do, people are still going to talk, so you just have to do what's good for you. Where did music come from? It was I mean, a shock. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, I've always liked music. Um, ever since I was growing up, I always liked music, and then my dad has always been pushing me to do music. Ah. I just didn't know when was the right time, or, you yes. know, I was, I was still trying to gather some vim and courage to do it but hey so that means that you were a bit you know yeah, scared you I weren't mean, too sure i wasn't sure i just didn't have the courage to do so okay i felt like and i needed to be perfect before i go out there so, so who encouraged you to my dad take that my bold dad step. my dad keep reminding me that hey girl you have to do this time waits for nobody and after what happened in 2020 with the covid and all yes. that I was like charlie I need to, need to chase my dreams now. I see. So, <laughs> so who was the first person you spoke to about wanting to do music and what did they say? Aside your dad, Aside like my, in the industry, um, who did you approach to I help think, you with your music career? A couple of them. Okay. Shatawale. Okay. Um, Richie Mensah. Ah. Yeah. I remember you did something with Shatawale. Yes, I did. Even before, even before getting we, into the music. Even before I started music, like Shata and I have recorded songs yeah. like four or five years ago, but I just didn't bring them out. Why? Right. <laughs> I know. I mean, this is the right time. It is the right time, yeah. right? What has the response been so far? I know it moved from people being shocked and wondering yeah. if you can actually be an artist to now admiring your music videos and yeah, all of yeah. that. I'm so happy that I did this. I'm what? so glad that I chased my dreams because people love it. Yeah. And I can't wait to give them more. Hey. Yes. I watched a video of you doing voice um, training. training. Yeah. And I was like, okay, <laughs> interesting. This girl yeah. is not stopping anytime soon. Mm -mm. How many songs do you have to your credits at the moment? 11 songs now. Already? Yeah. 11? Yeah. Wow. What is it about your music videos? You put in a lot of efforts. Like, it's obvious that there's a lot of creativity that goes into it. Mm -hmm. Why so much work? I mean, whatever I do, um, I make sure I do it properly um, with all seriousness. And we're here to stay. So, Charlie, if we are doing it, we are doing it well. So. But it must cost a lot as well. I mean, quality is not cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I just want you guys to enjoy it for me. I'll take care of the rest. But have you started reaping from your yeah, music Yeah, I mean, yet? yeah, it has started paying off. It has. It has. In terms of what? A performing at shows? Performing, okay. appearance, you know? I see. Yeah. <laughs> What's been the most difficult part of all this for you? Hmm. You know, um, my greatest fear was performing. Oh, on stage? Yeah, on stage. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I mean... I just feel like so many people looking at me, watching me, and yeah. I'm here to do this. It was one of my greatest fears. Okay. But I've been able to conquer it. So I think... When was your first performance ever? That was in London. I wasn't even ready for that. I was supposed to perform. Was it the Music Watch UK? Yeah. That was your first ever That was stage. my first ever. Like. And to think that it didn't even happen at home, at least you know that you have people you know, around you that would it wasn't even you. planned, and, but it happened. And I was like, okay, I could actually do what it. What was the response from the crowd? They loved it. Really? They did. I see. <laughs> oh, I thought that by then you had already no, started performing. that was the first time. I see. <laughs> how do you get yourself ready? Like when you're going on stage, I know the jitters and everything. So how, how do you prepare yourself? What do you tell yourself that what? I just tell myself do? that, Mona, you can do this. Go and give them a show. And that's and it. And that's it. Grammy coming your way soon. Amen. Amen to that. <laughs> Let's talk about this new one, by the way. So, yeah. Blow. Blow. Very, very eclectic, very, very interesting concept. Tell me about Blow. So, you know, we've been working so hard. I mean, 11 songs so far. And I can't wait to blow. I can't wait to see 
myself go international. Okay. I can't wait to go global. So yes, I want to blow. So this is like a manifestation. Yes. We want blow. You want to blow. Uh huh. How far do you want to go? The sky should be the limit. I see. Yeah. So do you write your songs yourself? Yes, I write some so you, of my songs some, myself. Okay. I have writers as well. So did you write Blow Yourself? Yes, I did. Ah, mm -hmm. I see. Interesting. And the concept for the video, whose idea was it? Whose idea was it? Okay, the director's idea, okay. um, X-Bills. Okay. X-Bills shot this one. I see. Yeah. It's been about, what, a week or two weeks since you released it? Well, you guys should check out Blow, by the way. It's available on all platforms. Um, we can find it, the videos on YouTube. Yes, it's available everywhere on YouTube, mm. Audio Mac, Spotify, all the digital platforms. It's available. It's available. So you guys should make sure you um, download, mm. stream, and share. Let's talk about being a woman in the music industry. At least you had the benefits of working with Shata Wali yeah. um, even before you got in. So you did understand the terrain a bit, but from the male perspective. Looking at the women in the industry, are we doing enough? I mean, and I'm talking about the music industry. I think they are trying. Mm. Yeah, they are trying. What we are just have to work harder. That's it. What's the reason why? You know the way we have the likes of. Let's talk about the biggest artists um, in town. We do Shatawali, Sakodie, Stoneboy, Samini. Mm. You know, it keeps going on and on. But when it comes to the women, everybody says, "Oh, she's good, but oh, she's great, but she's not as big as Sakodie." What do you think is the reason for that? I just think they have to work harder. That's it. Just keep working harder. Are they not working hard enough? They are working hard enough, but mm. they have to work harder. I mean, there's always room for improvement. So. What are you doing to change this narrative, this perception? I'm just doing Mona. I'm okay. doing me. You're doing you. Yeah. So you're not here to take over anybody. No, I'm, I'm just doing me. I'm doing Mona for real. But you're doing some collaborations along the Definitely. line? Definitely. Who are you going to be working with? Um, a couple of them. I oh, wanted to be us, a surprise. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Be nice. I like surprises. Any female my fans. artists that you're hoping to work with? Um, yeah. Or sure. you're not thinking about it? But at least I have a men. couple of them I want to work with. Like? Like Tiwa Savage. Ah, uh -huh. Why Tiwa? I like Tiwa. Okay. I like her music. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And um, Simi. Okay, yes. I like her too. Yeah, a couple of them. Are you, I'm still, working. Are you still voice training? I'm still voice training. I like the way she's like, I'm still voice training. <laughs> there are people who have said that your voice is not that great. Oh, okay. How do you feel when you hear those things? Oh, when I hear that, I just work on it. I mean, I'm sure they want to they wanna see me um, better or they want me to improve. That's why. So I'll just work towards that. You're working towards yeah. it. I'm looking for it a lot more from you. But is there a reason why you chose Mona for real? Because everybody knew you for a long time as Hajia, Hajia for, for real. real. Yeah, but Mona for real is my name. Yeah. It's my um, stage name. Okay. So yeah. why did you go with that? Because everybody would have assumed that you go for Hajia. I know Mona is your real name. You have mm -hmm. Mona with Montreal mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, right? Mona Fais Montreal. Exactly. But is there a reason why you went for the Mona over Hajia? Um, I just want my stage name to be me, like Mona. This is mm. Mona. This is not Hajia. The influencer, the, yeah. you know, this is Hajia for real, the artist. Um, this sorry, Mona, Mona for real, the artist. the artist. Are you still the influencer on the side as well? Oh, yeah, why not? You still do that yes. as well. How did you juggle all this with motherhood? You had a beautiful daughter. Thank oh my you. God, she's adorable. Thank you so much. How do you manage everything? It's not easy, but we did. We're managing. <laughs> You're managing it? Yeah. Um, my mom helps me out with her, okay. um, Nyla. And I, I try to find time to do everything. Does she it's not easy. This path you know, sometimes she'd be like, Mommy, why are you always going now? Mommy, why do you have to go? I'm like, yeah. Mommy, I have to go and work for you. Exactly. And she understands. She's very like understanding at her age. I see. Yeah. Has she shown any interest in the industry? Oh, yeah. She keeps singing. Like, sometimes she take the mic and start, you know, singing hey. in her cute voice. I'm like, okay. okay, Mommy, I see you. Are you going to feature her <laughs> in one of your songs one of these see. days? You never know. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. But... I think you should keep doing what you do best. Thank I mean, you. we can only encourage you. The sky's the limit. Thank you so much. So keep much. doing your thing. Thank you. Yeah. And we're looking forward to what's going to happen in your career yes. next. Yes, yes. Maybe yes. that Tiwa Savage collab will happen soon. Have you started working on it? Yes, I'm you working have. on it. Well, we're looking forward to it. But this <laughs> new one is what she's promoting at the moment. And it is Blow. So if you're out there, you're hoping to blow as well. We're dedicating this song to you from Mona For Real. Uh, listen to it, enjoy it, and make it your prophecy that this year, Charlie, I go blue. Right? Yes. Give us a line before you go, darling. Give us a line. <laughs> okay.
then release and now you know we only turn up over here pull up only good vibes over here slow down then pull up then pull up then release them we have to do this every day long as we are alive we go celebrate what in your mind make we jubilate but don't pause so we did it but you know say we warm blow we warm blow we don't choke we no no where the balloon day we warm blow it choke we no no where the balloon day we warm blow it don't choke we no no where the balloon day we warm blow it choke we no no where the balloon day we warm blow Congratulations to you. Thank you so yeah. much. It's good. It's good. I, and I like the switch. And it looks as if it's the rise is rapid. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the secret is. <laughs> you want to share? We are working hard. We are working hard. Yeah. Day and night. <laughs> Day and night. Have you slept in the sleep. studio before? Yes, I have. I sleep in the studio a lot. A lot of time. Interesting. Mm. I wake up. See. Oh, nice. it's fine. It's <laughs> <laughs> say, anyway, say what you have to no, say. I say. Sometimes I wake up with back pains because I didn't sleep well, you yeah. know. It's not easy, but yeah. Hard work pains. Yeah. Hard work pains. Thank you very much for coming this morning. And we'd like to say happy birthday to a few special people who are there today. Happy, happy birthday to Mrs. Mary Nana Ya Okain. It's your birthday today. This is from Bernard uh, uh, Hansi here at TV3. Also to you um, from Ebenezer here at MGTV, wishes Bernard Blay of Half a Cine SHS a happy, happy birthday. Also to ASP Dora Ohenewa Latte of the uh, prison's headquarters. This is from Kweku Asian and Mawalandi. You are 10 years today. Happy birthday. This is from your father, Ellie, and also your mother, Joanna. And to you, uh, at Beblau, Jemima Salasi and Ma Kusi of Ashama, Lebanon. Happy, happy birthday to all of you. If it's your birthday, so happy birthday to you. Mm. Well, that's how we wrap up today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, well, the icing on the cake. Mona for real joining us on the show.